Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we'll see a one more concept in compiler design that is grouping up of phases of a compiler. So grouping phases of compiler. So in our previous session, we have discussed about what are the different phases of a compiler. And all these phases will be categorized into two passes, right? So here, phase, we are talking about the two different terms. One is a phase, which are nothing but a units or stages that a program runs during compilation. So whenever we compile a program, whenever we compile a program, so that particular unit or a stages, that means the program, the source code will be running towards a different stages, right? So we have seen the, uh, six main phases. One is a lexical analyzer, uh, syntax analyzer, semantic analyzer, intermediate code generator, and a code optimizer and the target code generator. So these are the six different phases where the source program will be converted to a machine code, right? So next we are grouping all these six phases into different passes. So we are calling it as a passes. What are meant by passes? So how many times, how many times the program so here the program means a source code. The program compiles or runs. Okay. So how many times the compiler runs the source program? So these are the passes and these are the phases. So here we are having six phases. Six phases. So we named it as a lexical analyzer. Syntax Analyzer, Semantic Analyzer, Intermediate Code Generator, Code Optimizer and uh, Target Code Generator. So six phases. And here passes means we are reducing the compiling, compilation time. So these are of two types. Two types. So one is Single Pass Compiler single pass compiler or one pass compiler or you can also call it as a one pass compiler whereas the second category comes under two pass compiler two pass compiler or multi pass compiler multi pass compiler so now we will see what is a single pass compiler and what is a two pass compiler or a multi pass compiler. Now coming to the single pass compiler. The first category coming to the first category. Single pass compiler. So here all the phases, all the six phases will be uh, grouped into a single category. Okay. So, all phases will be grouped into single category. In a single form. Right. So, whenever we give the source program, Whenever we give the source code, first a lexical analyzer, it, the source code will be given to the lexical analyzer. Lexical analyzer. And from that, it will go with the syntax analyzer. From that, it will go with the semantic analyzer
from that it will go with the intermediate code generator from that it will go with the code optimizer code optimizer and from this it will go with the target code generator so these are the different phases involved right in order to compile any of the source code so we know that a compiler will convert the source code from one language to another language usually this source code will be in a high language high level language and uh, the output of the target code generator will be the machine level language so these are the different phases okay whatever the thing we have discussed so all these phases will be grouped into a single category it is called as a single pass single pass so the complete program will be given as a input okay the complete program will be given as a input to this compiler right say this one pass compiler right so that is a single pass only one time the complete program will be given a single single time right so every line of the code will be executing in all these phases different phases so what will be the output of each phase i have explained in our first session so different phases of uh, uh, this compiler right so i'll post the link in the description so do just go through that link now coming to the multi pass multi pass or we are simply saying it as a two pass so the name itself indicates here all the phases will be grouped into two categories two categories right and these two categories we call them as a two passes here categories we call them as a two passes so the first pass the first pass usually call it as a front end it's called as a front end and it's also called as a analysis pass analysis pass okay so what happens here so this is completely dependent depends upon source code and independent independent upon target code so whatever the target that is no problem i mean that there that, that is not an issue for this particular pass right so that mainly depends upon the source code not the target code so which code the compiler should be translated so that doesn't deal here the first pass is always a front end analysis and front end pass or an analysis pass so where the analysis will be done only on the source code so here the second one is called a second pass and second pass and this is called as a back end pass quite reverse or quite opposite to the first pass so this is completely synthesis pass synthesis pass pass so what happens this mainly depends upon target code not on not on the source code so to which we have to be converted to which the source code should be converted and independent independent upon source code so it doesn't depends upon the source code from which the code has been generated right so these are the two different passes so the complete phases which we have seen will be categorized into two different phases the first three phases so lexical analyzer syntax analyzer and the semantic analyzer all these three phases comes under the front end because those three you are know, in all the three phases that, that depends upon the source code and the output from this first pass will be the intermediate code generator so some sort of intermediate code will be generated and from that intermediate code 
the next second pass will be started so that means the code optimization and the target code generation will comes under this second pass so the first pass will be having the three phases and the output of first pass will be the intermediate code generator which will be the mediator between the first pass and the second pass and the second pass will be two phases that is a code optimizer and the target code generator so i'll write here so if this is a source code this is a source code so that will be given to lexical analyzer and then syntax analyzer and then semantic analyzer so these three phases will be the first pass this is a first pass or front end front end or we can call it as a analysis path analysis pass okay the output of this one will be intermediate code generator intermediate code generator will be the output and from this code generator it will go with the code optimizer code optimizer and code generator code generator and all these two comes under these two comes under the second pass second pass or back end or synthesis synthesis part okay and from this we will be getting the target code target code so from the source code first it will be given to this the first pass or a front end analysis front end path or front end pass or analysis pass where the three categories that means the three will be implemented both the lexical analyzer syntax and the semantic analyzer and it will generate some intermediate code and from that it will again give to the gives as a input to the second pass or a back end pass or a synthesis pass where Uh, the code generated and code optimizer will be happens and from there we'll get the target code so this is about the multi pass compiler or a back end pass compiler or the two pass compiler right so in order to reduce the complexity the complete phases were divided into two categories that is one uh, uh, front end and the back end and these passes we call it as a one pass and a two passes okay phases and passes both are different and again in the passes we are having a one pass and two pass coming to the phases we are having six phases okay so hope you understood the grouping of phases of a compiler or the different types of passes of a compiler right so let's stop here and if you are having any queries you can feel free to post your doubts in the comment section i definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much